What's up, Tiger Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com. Tuesday night, Springfield Tiger Night at the Tigers table. Cannot thank them enough for all their support all season long. Thanks to Melissa and Rob, Tiffany and Debbie, the waitresses here, the staff. A big turnout again by Springfield Nation. Going to talk a little soccer, girls soccer. Proud to be joined by the head coach of the, the lady Tigers soccer team, Justin Kosa. Coach, thanks for thanks for joining us. I love I love this. Doing this in, with this community is fantastic. That's what I was going to ask you. It, I, this is one of the, my favorite things to do at YSN. I get to go to different places. And I like to talk to different people. You're one of those. I, I, I like watching soccer. I don't know a whole lot about the game. But from your standpoint, as the head coach, you talk, this community is fantastic. You see the crowds that you get here on Tuesday night to support. What does that mean to you? It's, it's huge. Um, I mean, I, I grew up here. I went to school here. I graduated from here. Came back. I live out here with my kids. Go here. Kylie graduated. Casey's a junior. Um, the, the community support's always been huge. Uh, getting the Tigers table back and keeping it here has been big for the community. I know a lot of our, our older group out here loves coming out here for breakfast and, and hanging out here and they have a bunch of class reunions out here and it, it's good. Um, I mean, you've heard it from every other coach that you've talked to. Everybody says it, but there's no place like New Middletown. No. And, and Springfield local, like the, the support, the, undying get whatever you want to get when you ask for it it's phenomenal out here well yeah shout out coach beams obviously a very good friend of mine he does a great job running the athletic department the administration the facilities you've seen the, all this that's what i love about this you went to school here you've seen the transformation of tiger stadium i, I guess let's talk about that first that's a pretty big thing for the soccer program too, to play on so obviously football yes on friday nights but to to have your own field to play soccer on, to practice on, and have brand new turf, that has to be exciting for the girls and yourself. Listen, we don't, we don't have to worry about weather anymore. No. If, if the practice field down there that, that we're kind of splitting right now gets muddy and soppy, all right, I just adjust our time, we're up on the turf. We don't have right. to worry about that. Um, I mean, I went here and, and we had the old wooden splinter in the butt bleachers on both sides. We had cinder track going around and, and just torn down fences everywhere and to watch the stadium be built and then the track be put in and now the turf be put in that's got to be exciting uh, it's gorgeous i mean can yeah, you beat was, a division no seven division stadium seven, like this anywhere we'll talk Ohio? about division three and soccer yeah. tiger nation i'm going to question that we'll get into that later but when i did the game friday night i looked out and said wow yeah for a division seven football program to host the state champions division five who's still a very good football team and see the crowd from both places, that had me in awe. It really did. It's amazing. I mean, like I said to, to somebody last week, Mark Carden started the process. Sure, absolutely. And, and Bob came in, and I think Bob is the best athletic director in Northeast Ohio. Like, you couldn't ask for a better guy to work with. No. He is so laid back and so easy, and, hey, just relax. We'll figure it out. We'll get it done. Sure. Um, and that, that turf came together right when he said it would, right when Sean was ready to start doubles and we needed to be on for games. And here the we timing are. was perfect, and, and here we are. We're both playing on it now. It's well, beautiful. Well, that's awesome. Justin Kosick, the head Lady Tiger soccer coach. They are one and one. Coach, let's dive into the season. You beat, I want to say, South Range. Yes. Let's start there. That's a pretty good victory against a big-time rivalry. It was a good win. Uh, we went a few years without playing them. We had some, some issues in the past with scheduling stuff, so we just kind of dropped them. And then we picked them back up again last year when we were allowed to add a 17th game. And Bob kept them for us this year. So them coming in, I mean, yes, they're our division, sure. but they play Poland. They play Lakeview. They play Niles. They play all those bigger schools. And they play them twice. And we hear about it all the time in our voting meetings, how they play the tougher schedule and all that stuff. Um, to have them come into our home field for game one and, and that beat, had them, to be exciting. beat them 11 nothing. Um, 11's one thing. The shutout was the big thing. We were going for the shutout. We got it. I mean, they have, some, they have some tough girls. Devin's a really tough player out there, and um, we, we shut them down. Well, congratulations, ladies, on that fine victory. And then you went against Salem, I want to say, a couple days, maybe a few days. Take that one on the chin. But I want to go to that 17-game regular season schedule. Is that enough? Not enough? How hard is that to manage? I, I guess for, for me as a coach, and to manage practices, and, and obviously they're the same way. You, you, you can't beat them up every day you can't wear their legs out every day as a coach how, how do you put 
this whole plan together is the question. I mean, you kind of take it day by day and just read the girls. You read how the game the night before. Like, we played Salem last night. We played South Range on Saturday. So we went Saturday, game, Sunday you're off, which we came in and did like a light hour kind of run through. Hard game on Monday. Uh, We were scheduled to practice today. We have Crestview tomorrow, our first league games tomorrow night. So it was it was three games in the first six days days of the season. So Gina Vecchione's my assistant coach and Megan Mills. We talked about it this morning. We just kind of said, let's come in, let's let's do our lift, sure. let's let's do a deep stretch today, and then let's go up and watch film. So we didn't even put them on the field today. Oh, that's nice. Um, so we'll get out tomorrow, and I just felt like it was a tough way to start the season. And then when you look at like you said, the seventeen game schedule. When I started, it was six games. Um, or 16 games, right. it went to 17, yeah, which one. one's not right. big to add because no. they bumped the season start up sure. earlier. But our last week of the season, we play a game Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday. So we play five games in eight days to finish the season. Wow. Um, so, one, only one of them is a league game, but they're tough games. We no, go to Cleveland, Cleveland, we go to United. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So it's a Soccer in our area is a very compacted yes. regular season. Yes. Safe to say. I mean, I, I noticed that. I You're playing at the least games two games covered. every day. You're playing day. two to three a week, right? Yeah, two every week at least. Wow. Shout out to the athletes that play soccer. It's a great sport to watch. Uh, with Justin Kosick, the head soccer coach of the girls, Lady Tigers, proud to have him on again here at the Tigers table Tuesday night. I love to turn out coach again tonight. Thanks to Melissa, Tiffany, and Debbie. Debbie for their hospitality. You talked about your staff. Talk about them a little bit. This is Gina Vecchione's second year with me. Uh, she was a little reluctant last year when I needed a coach, but she, she, she admittedly told me I don't know a ton about soccer, but she knows how to coach. coach sure. and, and that's what you want. You just want good coaches there's on your a, there's staff. There's a young lady that's been in sports that's her whole it. life, so that's what yes. you're looking for. You want somebody that knows sports, knows girls, knows how to talk to them. Sure knows how to break stuff down and she can do all of that and then megan mills is my assistant also she's a volunteer this year second year doing it okay she's a former player which is always nice second former player that i've had come back makes me feel like i'm doing something right when they want to come back right here i'm gonna say that right here you're doing a lot of things right so Uh, they just like you need them i put a lot of pressure on my assistant coaches because i ask them questions not just to blow smoke like i ask questions because you I don't know. know. Like, no. I, I, once you, what's your opinion? I, I need to value oh, that's it, awesome. and, and that's that's, that's that, what we do. Well, that's a sign of good staff. Shout out to your assistant coaches for sure. Let's jump into this soccer team. Talk about some of these young ladies. But we're going to have Ava and Ashley obviously on on tonight. Talk about this this soccer team and what you expect from them. Ava and Ashley were voted two of our captains. There are two senior captains. That's why they're speaking tonight. Our third one is Maddie Page. Uh, she's only a sophomore, but they voted her captain, which speaks volumes for sure. her. Um, Ava is, she's a beast. I mean, she is. I mean, what she did in track last year, what she does in basketball, going to the state semifinal game. And then with, with soccer, I, I honestly feel like soccer is her best sport. Um, so I'm lucky to have her. She is lightning fast. She leads by example. She's not a really vocal person, but if you want somebody going 110 miles an hour, every time we step on the practice field or the game field, she's the one, um, just exactly what you want from a kid. Ashley asks all the right questions. Um, she's the leader who kind of just shows up and, and does what she's supposed to do and will kind of help talk to the girls a little bit. Uh, but but she asks all the right questions, which I always tell them, if I'm talking to one of you, I'm talking to all of you. Absolutely. So she asks the questions everybody else hears, and, and we go from there. Films today, she asked two or three questions that were perfect about where we need to be and that kind of stuff. Maddie is, is a lot like Ava. She's not quite as fast as Ava, but but she has been playing club since she was sure. six, seven years old. That's what I want to ask you, not to interrupt. Club is, is pretty big in soccer. You, you want, obviously, you want girls, if they're playing sports in Springfield, you support those. But if they're not, that has to be huge. It's huge. Program. It's huge. And Maddie grew up. Like, she was she was a basketball and soccer player. She doesn't play basketball anymore. She did. We talked her into coming out for track last year to sure. help out some speed okay. and quickness. But the club, like... You can just watch a game and you can it, it physically bigger point and bitter, out. bigger it's every huge. year. Yeah, I, I noticed that a lot. You see a lot of things on social media about that. She went to nationals last year. Sure, she went to Cal, uh, Colorado to, to play in the national championship with her. Uh, I want to say she was U fifteen at the time. Right. Um, they were phenomenal playing right. for a, a team out of Pittsburgh. I know that SVA from Niles has gone to nationals sure. the last few years. I remember seeing some of that too. Soccer, girls soccer in our area, we're pretty talented. We are. In my opinion. I mean, from a YSN standpoint, we're able to cover a lot of teams like this. Very talented area in soccer. 
that has to be a, a, a good thing for some of the younger players. You talk about some of the young girls on a lot of seniors on your team, but you talk a lot of underclassmen. That has to help even down to junior high, these young ladies that want to come up and play. It does. Um, there's no official junior high team, but our, our Youngstown Coaches District has kind of sponsored wow. junior high I soccer over the last few years. Um, we don't really want it to get state sanctioned because yeah. we're allowing 6th, 7th, 8th grade right okay. now, which is huge. That's good to know. If you Absolutely. don't do that, most teams don't have enough kids. Right. When they get to their high school season, Correct. you're you're walking around hallways – that's awesome kids. to hear. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. But my freshmen that I have this year, there, there's five freshmen coming in. They're all playing decent minutes for us. And every one of them, I put on foot skills sessions. I, I put on, like I've helped coach the youth league out here for the last few years. They come to everything. So coming in, they were ready to play. Yes. And that's huge. To have a group of five freshmen to come in, that they can either start if you need them to. They can come off the bench. They're just ready to play. Five minutes, 50 minutes, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Justin Kosick, the head soccer coach for the Springfield Tigers. What makes you enjoy coaching soccer? You, you do a lot of things. You, you're very active in spring. So what, what brought you to this? We didn't have it out here when I was growing up. You said that, right. My daughter started playing when she was in kindergarten, so four or five years old. And she was doing cartwheels and picking flowers and bringing them to us on the field. And I was like, what, what are we doing what are here? We doing here? What right. are we doing here? Um, she got into it. She started going to club. As she went to club, I decided started to dive driving. full into it. The club coaches, I was lucky she went to TCSC with Mofard, and then she she switched and ended up going to SVA with Greg and Greg Mitchell. And they both let me be part of the coaching. And that was um, huge for you. That, that's your I learned obviously. so much. I learned so much from them. And, and just watching videos on YouTube and watching games with Kylie and doing all this stuff. And when, when Bob gave it up 10 years ago now, I put in for it. And, and I didn't put in for it to coach my daughter. I put in for it because I knew what was coming up with my daughter. Absolutely. I wanted them to have a program. And just building the program and keeping the program running is, is what keeps me going. Like like watching these yeah, younger kids say, come so up, it's what, exciting. Year 11? Year 10. Right, right now, year 10. Well, shout out to you. 10 Thank years. You. That, that is, speaks volume of what we talked about earlier, the Springfield community. Yeah. How people stay together Absolutely. and do those things. Next game is tomorrow. Yep, Crestview. against Crestview, home or away? Away. I away. got word today. Even though they have that beautiful stadium and turf, they're going to play us down on their their grass field. They want to slow the Tigers down, they, ladies. They, they, they want to slow, slow us down. down. But you know what, I coach, I've enjoyed talking this. I, I look forward to talking to young ladies. Shout out to you, YSN Nation. You could watch Coach and the girls on YSN on some soccer action. We do a pretty good job getting that covered. Coach, I wish you nothing but the best. Loved having you on. And, thank and, you. I and appreciate it. You taught me a lot for a lot. All thank right, you. Thank you.